My name is Donald O'Keefe and I've been in Colombo and working in Korea since 1976. For the last three years I've been here in the Formation House with our students. And uh, when I arrived here uh, three years ago almost, uh, coming down here to the, our chapel, I suppose I was really struck by the, the door. <laughs> it was just a steel door door going into a storehouse or a store and inquiring I discovered that there had been a beautiful wooden door you know, designed for a chapel but fire regulations dictated that we had to remove it just before I came and put in a steel and fire safe door. So looking at that over a period of time and talking with Jude my companion here in the community um, we said we had to change it and the idea came up to me with ask Jason uh, to, uh, for ideas and to maybe do a work of art on it. So that's basically the background and uh, Jason came up with the uh, concept of uh, you know, the two great apostles, Peter and Paul, you know, meeting and embracing. I think it goes back to their last meeting before their uh, execution as martyrs. And um, I think it's a very, very appropriate uh, work of art, you know, to be on the door going into our sacred space. You know. But first of all, it's very biblical. It's also very missionary. I mean, missionary in the sense that uh, here you have um, two great apostles. Um, one was um, a Jewish fisherman, and the other one was a, a Roman citizen, a scholar. But very, very different. They also had a different approach to evangelization, and uh, as we know, like historically, they clashed. So I think it symbolizes for us, you know, like that today, especially for mission, we can have different approaches and different worldviews, and at the same time, we can work together, you know, for, for the gospel. There's also the uh, Columban connection with Peter and Paul. The society was officially established, recognized by Rome on June the 29th, 1918, which is the feast of Peter and Paul. And then again, over the years, many of our members were ordained on the feast of Peter and Paul. Again, you know, the great missionary elders of our church. Um, looking at the painting itself, I think one that, the thing that just struck everyone who has seen it is, you know, like the, um, the rich colours. And I think that kind of symbolises and brings out the, um, you know, the um, zeal or the enthusiasm, the life of the two men, you know, for uh, evangelization. They're not, so to speak, faint characters, wishy-washy, so to speak. There are men of conviction and zeal, and I think the strong colours really uh, uh, capture it. And then for you know, our students, of course, they see it every day. Maybe in some cases, familiarity does bring you know, a contentment. You forget what you see. But our, our visitors in particular love that. And the whole thing of uh, art, you know, information or information news in the life of the church. I think uh, art kind of brings us beyond the surface, you know, and actually gets us to try and look beyond and see what was the artist getting at? What does it, you know, what, what does it rise in our own consciousness? And uh, I think that actually points to the sacred. Because, uh, Everything I think in God's creation is sacred. We need things to actually push us in that direction to appreciate it. So I think having a painting like this, a mural like this, going into our, uh, our sacred space in the church is very, very um, appropriate. And uh, I think it, it does, uh, you know, inspire, you know, everyone who comes into this space. Um, I think it also maybe. 
our students here who are preparing to be missionaries. I think it's put new possibilities in front of them also uh, in terms of how to be a missionary in today's world. I think, for example, art is a way we can actually dialogue with the wider world. And I'm not just talking about sacred art, but all art, as I said, points to something deeper and beyond itself, you know. And I think that's where, um, you know, theology and life and mission in the world can meet. So it provides a kind of a forum for, or an opening in for dialogue, you know. I think that's a, another new possibility, like that having uh, a mural like this in our church which the students see every day and then of course they see the work of Jason. So I think it opens up new possibilities for them. And um, I suppose all in all, uh, I'm very, very happy the way things have turned out. You know?